if you're watching this video, chances are you've been trying to activate Shopify payments on your store, but you keep running into that frustrating roadblock where Shopify asks for your social security number, and obviously, as a non-US citizen, you don't have one? Well, I've got some great news for you. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step process to activate Shopify payments even if you're not a US citizen or resident. And before you ask, yes, this method is completely legal and legitimate, I'm not talking about about any sketchy workarounds or fake information here, by the end of this video, you'll have Shopify payments fully activated on your store. You'll be able to accept credit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and all the other payment methods that come with Shopify payments. Plus, you'll have lower transaction fees compared to third-party payment processors. Now here's the thing, most people think you need to be a US citizen to use Shopify payments, but that's actually not true. What Shopify really requires is a US business entity. And here's the key point. Anyone in the world can legally form a US business entity, even if you're not a US citizen or resident. The method I'm gonna show you today involves setting up a legitimate US LLC, getting the proper tax identification numbers, and then using that business entity to activate Shopify payments. This isn't some gray area hack. This is exactly how international businesses operate in the US every single day. So let's start by understanding why the individual route doesn't work for non-US citizens. When you try to activate Shopify payments as an individual, Shopify will ask you for your social security number. This is a special nine digit number that's only provided to US citizens and permanent residents. If you select individual during the Shopify payment setup, there's literally no way around this SSN requirement. I've seen people try to use fake numbers or random combinations, but that's not only illegal, it simply won't work because Shopify verifies these numbers with the IRS. But here's where it gets interesting. When you apply as a business entity instead of an individual, Shopify doesn't ask for an SSN. Instead, they ask for an EIN. That's an employer identification number. And here's the crucial difference. You can get an EIN as a foreign business owner, but you cannot get an SSN unless you're a US citizen or permanent resident. So the solution is simple. We're going to set up a US business entity, get an EIN for that business, and then use that business to activate Shopify payments. Now the best type of business entity for this purpose is what's called an LLC. An LLC is perfect because it's simple to set up, it has minimal ongoing requirements, and most importantly, it allows foreign ownership. The process I'm going to show you uses a service called Northwest Registered Agent. I've used them personally and they make the entire process really straightforward. They'll handle all the paperwork, get you registered with the state and help you obtain your EIN. I'll leave a link to Northwest in the description below so you can get started right after this video. All right, so the first decision you need to make is which state to form your LLC in. And as a foreigner, you can choose any state you want. The two best options for international business owners are Wyoming and Delaware. I actually recommend Wyoming and here's why. Wyoming has lower annual fees, about $125 per year versus $300 per year in Delaware. Wyoming also has better privacy protection, meaning your personal information doesn't go on public record. And most importantly, for non-US residents, Wyoming has zero state income tax, which means you pay zero tax on your income. So right here, you want to click select a state and then scroll down and find Wyoming. Then from here, we can click the blue button for a Wyoming registered agent. Then next, we can see the price and we can click continue. Here's where you'll enter your business name. You can choose pretty much any name you want, as long as it's not already taken and it ends with LLC. I'll choose studio H. LLC. We leave the last question down here as it is. Then you'll fill out the contact information. This is where you'll put your real information, your actual name and address where you live. And on the next page, you fill in your email address and password. Then next for the optional items, you want to skip all of these as they are not necessary. And next up, you can do your one-time payment to set up your US LLC. Now here's the really important part. During the sign up process, Northwest will ask if you want them to obtain your EIN for you. Say yes to this as well. The EIN is basically like a social security number for your business. 
It's what you'll use when you apply for Shopify payments instead of a personal SSN. Once Northwest processes your LLC formation, you'll receive several important documents. You'll get your Articles of Organization, which is the official document that proves your LLC exists. You'll get your EIN confirmation letter from the IRS, and you'll get your registered agent information. Make sure to save all of these documents because you'll need them for the next steps. The most important ones for Shopify payments are your EIN EIN confirmation letter and your LLC address, which will be your registered agent's address in Wyoming. Now, once your LLC is set up, the next step is opening a US business bank account. This is required because when Shopify pays out your earnings, they need to send the money to a US bank account that matches your business information. The two banks I recommend most for this are Mercury and Relay. I personally use Mercury for my business and the application process is entirely online. They're designed specifically for online online businesses and they're much more friendly to international business owners than traditional banks. To apply for Mercury, you'll need your EIN, your LLC formation documents and some basic information about your business. The whole process takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete the application and they usually approve accounts within one to two business days. Relay is also a great option with similar features. Both banks offer free business checking accounts, which is perfect for what we need. All right, now that we have our LLC and bank account set up, let's configure your Shopify store. The first thing we need to do is update your store's address to match your US business address. Go to your Shopify dashboard and click on settings at the bottom left. Then click on general at the top. You'll see a section called store address. Here's where you'll change your country to United States if you haven't already. As you can see for me, it's already set to the US. For the state, you'll select Wyoming if that's where you formed your LLC. Then enter the registered agent address that Northwest provided you. Now let's activate Shopify payments. From your Shopify dashboard, go to settings and then click on payments. You should now see Shopify payments as an option. Click on complete account setup. Then you want to select, I am running my store as a registered business instead of individual. For the business type, select private single member LLC. This is key because it tells Shopify you're applying as a business entity, not as an individual. Now you'll fill out the business information form for the registered business name. Enter your LLC name exactly as it appears on your formation documents. For the EIN, enter the number you received from the IRS below the EIN number. Also select the box, use EIN for tax filing. For the business address, use your registered agent address in Wyoming. For the phone number, you can use your real phone number. Shopify doesn't require it to be a US number for business applications. Once you fill this in, click next. Next, fill in your industry type. I will select software and give my description. Once filled in, I click next. Next for the account representative and this is where you want to fill in your personal information about yourself. So your name and your own country and address. And as you can see, when I select my country Netherlands, at the bottom, it gives me an option. This person doesn't have a SSN or ITIN. You want to click on that. The last step then, is to confirm the information. And Shopify will ask you to upload some documents to verify your business. You'll need to upload your EIN confirmation letter and possibly your articles of organization. Make sure these documents are clear and readable. After you submit everything, Shopify will review your application. This usually takes one to three business days, but it can sometimes take up to a week. You'll get an email when your application is approved. After this, you will be prompted to link your bank account, which you can do with your Mercury or Relay One. As a foreign business owner with a Wyoming or Delaware LLC, you won't owe US federal income tax on your business profits. However, you will need to file an annual information return with the IRS called Form 5472. This is just an informational filing. You're not necessarily paying taxes but you're reporting your business activity also Northwest can do this for you so let's talk about the total cost setting up your LLC through Northwest will cost around 100 to 200 dollars initially the bank account is free and you need to pay around 100 dollars to keep your LLC running but now you can finally legally accept payments with Shopify payments without SSN all right, so that's the complete process for activating Shopify payments as a non-US citizen. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but once you get everything set up, you'll have a legitimate US business that can accept payments through Shopify payments just like any other US business.
If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Shopify tutorials. I've got all the links you need in the description below, the link to Northwest Registered Agent to get your LLC set up, and links to Mercury and Relay for your business banking.